good y'all. We back. Episode 5 of the family meeting. I'm Streets. Monty. Aki. Alright, so to start off, I want to backtrack and uh, fix some shit that I said last, last episode. I was talking without enough information and I made judgment where I should have made judgment. But that goes to show that's what happens on the internet and how people take shit and they run with it and they form opinions. But this is kind of what we do, so that's what I had to do. But Rory, I was wrong. I said it was you and you was trying to get money and all this extra shit, but it was definitely Joe tripping the whole fucking way. New Rory and Ma. Yeah, with that being said, <laughs> Rory and Ma done started their own shit, which they should have done. I don't know, man. I said I just got done watching one of uh, Joe podcasts, but I haven't watched in a while, and that's my boy. Everybody know that's my boy, but I don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, it's been weird to me. Like it's it's a super weird dynamic for me just watching. Like it's it used to be like a conversation. And I was just Joe and people that are there just say to either say like you you talk about this topic and then I chime in like alright nah. Um, or you know what I'm saying, like they, they but they, they know him, so it's, it's a cool dynamic there. But other than that, it's yeah, real tired. But I don't. This shit is weird as hell. Like you can tell watching him though that he feels some type of way about what he did. He know that what he did was wrong, but at the same time, I think he believed in what he was trying to stand on. It's hard being in business, man. But. We ain't got to stay on it too long, but I'm just saying, you know, I was wrong about Rory. But I'm so happy that Rory and Ma are picking up the way that they they, they ain't let that shit push them down. They, they still moving. And I guess we could transition into Charlemagne from Joe. Get all that heavy shit out the way real quick. So, from, to Charlemagne? And from Joe to Charlemagne, it's the only reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, they had their feud in, I guess. Yeah, that's the only reason. Yeah, so, are we, we gonna jump straight into the other shit? I, I wanna get it out of the way. Nah, so hold on. There's just some, some other points you could, could touch on. Alright, so, Charlemagne and the Kwame Brown situation, like, was, was mad fucked up. Like, he, that's what I'm talking about. I thought you were talking about the shit that Kwame brought up. <laughs> I mean, I was going to start there and then... Uh, yeah, I thought you were just jumping head first then. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not sure. Well, he did. did. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, so, you know, Charlemagne doing what Charlemagne does went a little hard at Kwame Brown. And for those who don't know who Kwame Brown is, he's somebody that was signed and played for the Wizards. But he didn't he didn't really shine like that, but he played for I wanna say twelve or fifteen years, somewhere around there. It was it was a long period of time for him not to be a star and he fed his damn family and Charlemagne basically called him a loser. And brought and brought up a whole bunch of points and shit on radio that Kwame said that he didn't even know about. So it was like you just exposing people shit. But yeah, he got anything to say about that? Cause all I can say is that he fired back on his ass. So uh, <laughs> I mean I I can give a little credit, just a smidge bit of credit, uh, to him apologizing, but Mm-hmm. We probably yeah, might that. know there might be ulterior motives for him apologizing, but I don't know. At the same time, I don't know because it would be in Charlemagne's character to apologize to somebody if he if he wronged him. Yeah, but but mm-hmm. the, the cease and assist, if that's true, is weird to me because Charlemagne you talk shit all the time. Somebody come back, hey, you started it, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna send you a cease and assist. Like, man, man that's shit. That shit weird as fuck. But that's probably his publicist doing that, like you know. And that's something that he doesn't want to get out like that like uh, that's something that he did that he he did before and it's like he knows that he did it in the tab, but he probably he probably already went to the he you know he go to therapy all the time and shit, and shit like that so he's probably already trying to recover from you know what i'm saying and, and figure out you know what i'm saying like how to move forward in that and he already put maybe try to put that behind him but when you do hang and shit like that there's no putting it behind you there's no really recovering from it yeah so 
Yeah. I'm a. We're gonna. We're gonna double back to that. We to 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 be continued a little later on what exactly Charlemagne did. Oh no 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 no. What we don't need to, that one. Not too fast. Too far. Mm. Yo, he did some sick shit. No, it was the. I, it wasn't. It wasn't necessarily what he did that I wanted to get into. It was about the thing that we watched. Okay. Like the. You know what I mean, like the breakdown of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, because before I, I was curious to see why, you know, what what exactly transpired, and from her story and the uh, her friend's story is kind of the adding up. Yeah, completely. And watch. I, I I pride myself on being good at reading character. And watching when people move in there, and she was told them the fucking truth, and like for the most, for like I mean, and then the story got hazy when she talked about after she got the drink and all of that shit. But if you got drugged, the story would get fucking hazy at that point. So, um, yeah, man, it's crazy. I, I, I just don't know. I don't know why. I don't know where he would if like if he did do what he's accused of doing. He wasn't Charlemagne yet, so how did he get away with that shit the way that he did? Like, what? That shit is weird. Because in cases of st such stature, in such nature, uh, the victim has to be completely compliant and be able to and and, and be able to have a clear. Was and I think he took a plea deal. He said he took a plea deal right off the rip, even though his story. Yeah, the way he told the academics didn't match with the police records, saying that he was under he was underage and the cops. So he he came forward and turned himself in because um and, and because he threw the party, said that he was underage and he brought the drink. So the cops gave him some type of plea bargain or whatever. But the records show that he was 22 on the papers. So it was it's just some weird. It's just yeah, weird. That's what I'm saying. Was he was he with uh Wendy Williams back then? Or he ain't link up with her yet? I don't think so. I think he was just at the local radio station. I don't know, man. It's I'd be saying like I was joking earlier and I said that he probably that was his initiation to become Charlemagne, but the transition off of that shit, I was gonna say like, you gotta do some crazy shit for success, but success varies from person to person, so I wanna know what you guys idea of success is. <laughs> For me or broad? No, to right. you personally. Um, you can only judge. I feel like you only judge, judge with success by your own standards. Yeah, that's true. See, I, I don't feel like anyone ever, you can base, just call them successful. Like, I feel like success happens after, like, like after everything that you set your mind to. Like, maybe you're successful. Okay, you could be successful if you have a high success rate like you there's no such thing as just being completely successful you can have a high success rate you can but I, my success is based off of um this project and this what i want to do at this moment because i feel like everything that i wanted to do and that i did at some level i wanted to make clothes i've done that a bunch of times i wanted to paint i've learned how to paint to some extent not as great as i wanted to but i i I'm still working on becoming successful at that because it's still a process. It's not. It's not an ending. It, it, it's. Some, it's not something that I can fail at. Like you know what I'm saying. Unless I die right now, or before I before I master that technique. And not even because I feel like you only fail if you stop trying. That's like that group too. I feel like success. You can't measure success. Like how you were saying, like a success rate. Like okay, this person shot X amount of baskets. Yeah, okay, that's successful. That's accuracy. But like I feel like success is a personal thing. You, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what anybody has been through. Like you might have. We might have came from two different backgrounds. So success to you might be. Well, I'm doing. You know everything. Like you said, everything I wanted to do X Y Z. I might not be going to college or doing things another person's way. Like you can always only be doing your best, better than you were yesterday. In my opinion. I don't know. My field is so damn competitive. Like Joe said, he said, how I do at retail tells me if I prevail. And he was basically saying, like, the sales, the amount of fans, the amount of plays, the amount of all of that shit, it, it means something when that's when, what your goal is. So, like, my goal is, like, I, I create naturally. That shit is natural. I don't, 
I don't take it lightly, but it's at the same time it's with who I am. So it's like okay, I can do that. So I'm successful. I'm, I can successfully rap. I can do that, but I need to do something with it. But I don't know. The ultimate, as long as I, I get me and everybody around me straight, or we build something together or some kind of way, I'm good. I feel like that's success to me. Being better than where you were last year is a success. Being in a higher place, people got to take time and enjoy it. Sometimes you got to take steps back, too. That's another thing in the process. It ain't never just a straight fucking shot. Sometimes you back up, recoup, recoup, recoup. I, just, I said that shit at the same time. I don't know if I really did that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Right, or like take a moment to appreciate the moment and where you are because the stuff you don't even realize until you sit back and look at it like oh what i'm doing right now is what i prayed for what i wanted to be doing you know what i'm saying a couple of months ago but you don't realize that until you get there like oh dang like i want we always so busy looking at the future and oh we don't have this that we're not remembering that before we had less you know mm-hmm. so speaking of like levels of success i can transition to okay so bow wow versus soldier boy <laughs> It is way too late in the versus thing for them to to battle. I feel like that's something that should have happened when versus was a thing, like first started being a thing. But at the same time, it looks cra- it sounds crazy to people, but they both have a certain level of success. Like they have a different level, and like you can't like they argue back and forth, but they do it out of respect for each other because they both know that they both are solidified. You know me, I couldn't stand Soulja Boy ass growing up. But, see, uh, I disagree with part of that though. Uh, what did you say? You said uh, that it should have happened a long time ago. That, I mean, that's the wrong time. I feel like it's the perfect time because now that it's a little saturated, it's kind of the right time for them to be out here. But it is it is a great battle for them too, even though I feel like so. I mean, even though I feel like Bow Wow is gonna smoke his boots. He is. <laughs> but it's more for the entertainment aspect of nah, being too great entertainer. I seen a skit where they were saying they was doing Bow Wow versus Lil Romeo. <laughs> and then Bow Wow got up and he was playing, doing so much of his shit. And then Lil Romeo got up and was like, ACDC. <laughs> and then he sat back down and then, then Bow Wow went again. He's like, he's like, no, you gotta play with me. He's like, right, I got you this time. He's like, I got you. This is some fire. This is some fire. ACDC. <laughs> he, 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 he like that's the same shit from last time. That's that's, I, 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 I mean, RDC bro. Nah, that's not like that. Me, no, I, was, I forgot who it was. That shit had me dying though. Yeah. <laughs> no, Romeo had this ugly ass dance. I couldn't stand when we was younger, and they they was hyping it up to him. Romeo, Romeo, boy, do that dance. Romeo, Romeo, boy, do. Why like, are you kicking chicken. that nasty ass leg to the side like that? <laughs> I think it was doing a dirty bird. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, man, I don't know. I guess I, I'm curious to see what the view's gonna be. I'm gonna watch it as much as I can. See, I think that's what's gonna be the key. Everybody's gonna watch it and be curious. The view's gonna be high in the beginning. We're gonna see where it goes by the end of the night. If they're gonna maintain it. I don't care how many views it actually gets. Soldier Boy gonna say it did 3,000 million. Right. <laughs> Soldier was the first! <laughs> You see, oh, you see that shit they been doing like, that battle? No. Okay. It's like, man, it started off with Soldier Boy and Sway Lee, but now mad people are doing it. It's like, they just filmed it, like, they going like this around his house, and Soulja Boy's like, Soulja Boy's the first rapper with a pool table in his house. Then, like, yeah. something, then Sway Lee was like, damn. Damn, but then Sway Lee did it, he like, Sway Lee, he like, I was the first nigga with a da 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 Then, like, everybody, like, people been following doing that shit, but it's just not funny. Like, you gotta see, you gotta give it up. That cold cat nigga is entertaining. <laughs> I'm sorry, that nigga on coke. Him, him, y'all gonna hate me, but him and Chris Brown got the same fucking oh. dealer. <laughs> like right now, you ain't see. I know you be on Instagram. You seen what he was looking like on that at that party? That Drake thing. He yeah. looked crazy. Yeah, he looked I mean, this. What the? <laughs> that Michael said that shit. No, somebody said he looked like he was defrosting. <laughs> <laughs> And Chris Brown's one of the most talented people ever, too, man. He got yes, chill, man. I love Chris. 
I didn't want to talk about him, but he got a beautiful daughter. He need to be looking out for. He got like he got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fucking drugs in this damn world. I knew he was. I knew he was on. He, he when he stopped trying to hide it though. When he had that chain with the, the razor with the coke on it, it's like all right. Once you're not hiding your habit anymore, that's when it's like. Once I let me see. I, I pretty much once I learned how to roll was when I stopped hiding that I was smoking. Cause then then, then it became a regular part. Like you know what I mean? Like you ain't doing it up front. So it was like, all right, I used to come in high, see my mother, try to walk past mad fast, go into the room, and she's like, Jack, what you doing? Come here. Just to fuck with me. Like you know I'm high. I didn't fuck alone. But then like after I learned and then it's like, alright. Hey mom. <laughs> it's like it becomes more into your your lifestyle once you come open with it. So that kind of, when I seen him do that, it was kind of like, fuck. Because I don't know if, even Bobby Brown, like, you, I mean, I seen him drop coke, I think, before performing on uh, accident, but you ain't never see him really, really just flash, like, I'm on coke and he's on yeah, top, you know what I mean? Like, basically advocated. Yeah, like, yeah, like and I'm the Snoop Dogg of cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> like, how niggas be talking about Syracuse was weird. Speaking of that, um, they've been fucking bugging. It's been hot for two days. <laughs> One motherfucker's been wilding. It's been the west side mostly, though. And, uh, R.I.P. Remy, a little homie is only 15. He is up to coming. I, don't, I can't say for sure. I'm, I'm not sure if I met him in person or not, but I know that he was working with Melissa, who was my, who, you know, my ex-manager or whatever, but he, um, I do need to check on her, because I know that shit probably hit her hard too, but I, I, I was, it's, it's ironic, because I was watching some of the stuff with him in it before any of that stuff, and I'm like, he, 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 he kind of talented or whatever, but then, like, I even tuned in even more, once I, once I seen what passed, today, every day was posting stuff constantly, so it was like, I don't need like, he definitely had a trajectory, he definitely had it somewhere. But it's just like, it's fucked up because he was 15 and he died on some scrapping, fighting shit. And then the nigga backed out on him, but the nigga was 14 that shot him. Because people are growing up today and they pussy. It's, but it's like, I mean, it, 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 it shit's weird to me. Like, it, like it, I don't know, man. 14, 15, when I was 14, 15, nigga was fighting. Yeah. You might get stabbed. You might get stabbed. You might get stabbed. Yeah, yeah. But niggas wasn't just, even if they had it on them, niggas wasn't just pulling that shit out like that when I was younger, I swear. And then it was like niggas didn't even have I don't know, man. Like I say around when I was in high school was around when I seen people really coming around with guns, like around my age and it being like a, a normal thing. It's so but, disturbing. But like yeah, like when I was maybe middle school and and, and before that it was like Fist fights and all you did and like shit like that. Where if a uh, nigga got a knife, okay, we got to fight still. They got a gun, like it's, it's ending the, the whole shit. <laughs> like, yeah, and I don't even understand because nigga, I'm weird. I like taking a punch. Like if I get hit, I'm, ooh, like yeah, nigga, we cooking now. Like yeah, let's go. Like, like what's up? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like a sport in it in a way. Yeah, like, like, like even in, in like Naruto, like people spoke through their fists. Yeah, like, you understand like it was, it fight. was like at least, uh, Okay, we we don't agree with each other, but at least we're gonna get all of our anger out now and not have to settle it in a different way later. Yeah, we understand and this we agree to disagree. We beat each other half half to death, but we ain't trying to kill each other. Right, shit. and I feel like that people nowadays are just scared. Like they feel like like all that tough facade is just you're hiding behind. Like you're hiding behind all of that because you're so fearful of everything. Like, and I understand why because now now it's like everything is so much more accessible and everything is so much crazier. Yeah, it's a whole fact. And when that's what's promoted and that's what you see, like mm -hmm. people don't understand that the media really does play a role. They could say, Oh, well, I'm not telling them to listen to me. Well, but at the end of the day they are. Like when you are an influencer, yeah, again, you to an extent don't have the responsibility, yeah, you're creating your content, but if you know you know what I'm saying, like it takes a village at the end of the day. If you see that it's a pattern, then change it. Yeah. Period. Or you're just as responsible. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to. I've, I've, I've made. I've, I've, let me see. How can I put it? So, 
when in my early twenties probably was my when I was interested interested in gang culture and not not no block shit like <laughs> like real gang shit like that or in the just street shit period like that's that's when I was into it like but it was I've never but I still at the same time I always found issue with it but I all I was interested in the organization of it all like it's like a, the underworld is was like an organized business. I mean, so it, it was it was like it fascinated me that it was together, but it was a uh, honestly. I'm sorry, this just dawned on me. I feel like uh, like Bloods and the Crips and, and, and shit like that. It's a, like gangs is the closest thing we get to the Illuminati. Like as poor black people, black people. Yeah. like yeah. you're connected mm -hmm. to people around the entire world. It's like a fraternity. We can't get into these fraternities that that Bill and Bob are getting into, and they're getting all these opportunities. But if you're a rapper, okay, oh, yeah. I, I'm the executive GD. I come meet with this I man. Had, I done got oh, on man. a low on a low scale. I done got I done got chauffeured around, uh, not chauffeured around, but taken care of doing shows. I done got weed. I done got beats off of my affiliations. Like, <laughs> so it, it's, it's, that shit is different. Hey, so, I'm sorry. No, what you about to say? I was gonna backtrack earlier. I said when I said. When I say guns were around the entire, like, the guns didn't really come around to high school. It was around in, you know, with people that were, were like, I don't want to incriminate anybody, 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 the people my, that were older than me, like, you know, but they used them in different manners. Like, it was more of a responsible, it was more of a responsibility to it. Like, it was like, all right, this is what I have to do because these things might come around the block mm -hmm. right here. But we not just about to come and just shoot the shoot them in front of you, my little cousins, or or, mm -hmm. or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's, they had that exposure. But what I was saying, what I was gonna say is that I dabbled and dabbled. I got, like I said, I got affiliations. I've done things, but my like as a rapping wise, I how can I put it? Like, me talking shit is fun, and listening to other rappers to talk that shit is fun, but it never, and I guess it's different, it's like everything is percentages, because some people are influenced, I'm not a club chasing ass nigga, but I've never heard some shit and was like, oh yeah, I want to do that just because they did that shit, like, oh, we just shot up a whole crew, we just did that, like, oh yeah, it's so cool because this fucking rapper said do it, that's what I'm like, no, no. And the people that I actually looked up to or I I'm gonna say looked up to but I, you know, respected they gangster in a way or actually looked up to them and acknowledged that they were established in that lifestyle. They lived by a certain um, moral they had respect for people like they it was more so like, oh let me like you know what I'm saying, let me let me make sure everybody's good. Let me like they respected the women in church and now niggas just come talking about I'm about to just shoot up houses, the whole house, I don't care who in it. Just because they mad and they don't want to fight, or just because, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's certain ways you're supposed to go about shit. That's a whole thing. That's a fact. But it's, it's being lost, man. It's just. But I guess our music do have somewhat to blame for it because the streets died <laughs> along with the people in it that was really in it maturing and dying. Going to jail, dying, and some were maturing, right? So they had these stories and they were passed down. And the people that were vibing with them stories were lazy because they were living that and that's what was happening. But then they took these fucking stories now and it's like, we don't really see this shit every day. We don't, you know what I mean? So they, they want to emulate it. They want, so like I, I literally like, even just like now what I see, when I used to walk outside, when I was younger, I feel like I saw, I saw, I saw, uh, it was an air of happiness, you know what I mean? But then you had like, it was still like an organ, like you had blocks, you walked, there was every corner, they had, they had a certain gang right here, it was certain, it was heavy, you know what I mean? It was on that bro cuz shit, you couldn't say certain shit, you couldn't, it was a, it was uh, you couldn't walk around with any fucking bandana on your head that you want to. I I always wore flies on my head, so I go back and forth with niggas all the time about that shit. But it's like you, it was a different type of way. Like that shit, they really was enforcing shit. Like it was, and it was like it wasn't like I don't want to say enforcing because I was enforcing like nigga, fuck you. 
go where I want to, do what the fuck I want to, always have. But niggas was more on that bullshit. And then it's now it's just like, what are you doing? What are you doing this for? And then we're in, like I've seen our family, and this is like, I mean, I've seen our family like come back and they be talking or I've been in the middle of some shit and they be like, oh, this block is coming or we somebody drove through from this block type shit and it was just like okay it was still like a family type of thing and then now it's just like everybody hate each other it's just like wherever you at you can be part of the same shit that's divided it's just, it's just like so that's how you know that shit's not solidified man like but uh, i feel like um we never like we, we like to blame us but we never acknowledge the real cause of, of things like like the hip hop music and shit is there's messages and shit out there that, that are good and, but it's not with push to the forefront not with the radio want to hear because these white these white people in the industry are, are are pushing because they know the effect that it's going to cause mm -hmm. and then also like with um oh shit what was the last part you said Which part? I don't mean the tangents. About, uh... Um, you said some shit like, um... I, s I said something about them basically and force and stuff, or being a block and being together versus another block. Oh, know. that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Another thing is, um... The, ga the gangs nowadays are real different. Even though Syracuse gangs, uh, the way they started, it was more so just the neighborhood you were from. Mm -hmm. Like all, automatically, we was we were bright. We were, we were like baby brigade kind of. Mm -hmm. So it's just what you're born into. Mm -hmm. It's it's the neighborhood you're around, like and stuff like that. But when Rico came, none of them like the, all that shit was out. The only gang that survived is the tent. Yeah. Yeah. And then all these other niggas like popping up. But even the tent is. No disrespect to anybody. I feel like it's mostly the young. It's mostly young niggas. Because yeah, they're stupid. Like all of the, and because all of the, all of the OGs saw that shit. Like, oh, Rico, oh shit, they got, uh, they woke up and they, they see like, oh, let me leave this shit alone. But they didn't come. Not, like nobody came back and actually, like, taught the kids how to move. Like, don't be out here just doing hot shit and just doing dumb shit and just shooting shit up. Actually, I mean, take the extra steps. It's just, it's hard when people, everything, especially, like, <coughs> now, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but before I go on a tangent about that, I'm going to say what I was going to say about, so basically, oh, where I want to go, I had like nine thoughts in my head at the same time. <laughs> okay, so basically everything that we do, we it somehow ends up being taken from us and i don't know like before back then that was especially true they would see something they would they had the money to back it and they took advantage of it take people drive them crazy squeeze all the talent out of them and then send them out into the fucking world to fend for themselves that's why like die early from drugs kill themselves all that extra shit I done said that a billion times and talked about that. But what I was going to from that is that once, damn it, I lost it again. Oh no, okay, so the people who, once we, now people, we have a whole bunch of millionaires that are ethnic. So we have the money to fund stuff. We have the, the means to do things different and they can't hold it back as much for it. Or is that true? Like, they let you get to, like, do you feel like they let you get to a cat and then they, they take the shit away from you? Or can we still, like, what happened to the Wayne's brother with the, with the scary movie franchise? Like, I mean, this was a couple years ago, but if do you think the same thing would take place now? I think, fucking Wayne's to, to, maybe not to them specifically, but to other people, hell yeah, to other black people, because they... This is how the music industry works, and this is how the record, uh, the movie industry works. Um, they, they like to find new people because 
they they don't have an entertainment lawyer. They don't they they aren't like really prepared on the business side. They're just creative and they're just seeing this new world. Like, oh sh oh, so I'm doing a movie with with so and so, and I got this I got this going on. But they they don't look at the paperwork. So yes, that's still happening to this day. Even Chappelle thing, right. like somebody the, the next day Chappelle or not the next day say the next day Chappelle because he is irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. But there are people in that exact position right now signing deals for for the next Chappelle show. And I can say that because Chappelle show was made a million times. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree with that. But, like I was saying, but that, that kind of show now, but, so, back in the day, Richard Pryor was Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. And he had a show, and it was gone after three episodes. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get into why? <laughs> yeah, why? You gonna get into why that? <laughs> I mean, what, why do you think that happened? Uh, wasn't there a show called like Saturday Night Live? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying, so now, so, so what I was saying with the correlation that I was making with that is. You said that wouldn't happen to the wings now because they are solidified. But he was solidified back then. So do you think the times are changing into a way that we have more power now that than we had before? That was the whole central. I'm glad we got there. <laughs> yeah. I, like he was solidified, but he wasn't solid. Like he mentally, he he wasn't he, on he, his he, shit. He was a co-core. Yes. <laughs> I love you, but I'm calling as I seen. I I love Richard Pryor to death, but I seen you sit on a white man lap. I don't give a fuck. A white man lap. Okay. You ain't see that interview? He is high as fuck. Oh, uh, Australia. <laughs> and then it was some old was white it on man. the Mormon on Mormon TV. No, I oh. think he was behind the scenes of one of his movie oh, shows or some talking shit. About it. And he's like, they done paid me all this guy. Like he was just like, yeah, he, he's tripping. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're talking about. I'm like, yo, bro. And so like that goes to like. How far, like, okay, we're, we're, we're brothers, right? Remember how I was joking last episode when I touched your leg, right? <laughs> and then, like, growing up, niggas joke like that, da, 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 but how far do you think it is to when it's like, all right, nigga, that's not, like, you know, like, you're not playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... See, you probably get that vibe. <laughs> no, I, I feel like I feel like if a nigga touched my ass in any kind of way, like did, yeah, did. Yeah, don't even tell me good game. Yeah, man. like fuck that. Uh, don't even tell me good game. Yeah, man. But guys, I think everything is gay though. So everything is gay. <laughs> no, I feel like I always have this conversation to where like, okay, if a girl goes to a sleepover, even from a young age, like. You sleep in the bed together. Why is it gay for men to sleep in the bed together? Because they get hard and warm your wood and they be turning over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like If y'all over 10, nobody trying to be elephant. Nobody trying to elephant trunk it. And so they sleep. <laughs> Niggas be getting hard in their dreams and shit. Yeah, Just like, yeah, oh, I'm bro. bro. I'm not even trying to. I don't know. I don't like sleeping in the same room with just a room. <laughs> 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 I'm like on the floor, so it's just like awkward. Like you all farting in the middle of the night. You all like, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm trying to get my zen mode. I'm gonna have to stab your ass. <laughs> 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 nah, that shit ain't right. Yeah, but then girls do girly shit. Like at a sleepover, when it like. Niggas think about pussy, <laughs> like at the end of the night, it's like, alright, uh, we played this game, I beat your ass in 2k a thousand times, we done wrote a thousand verses, but uh, I'm trying to go get some head, like, like, what, what? <laughs> now, if we all are drunk and we just end up in the same place, nah, bro, don't, don't go walk nowhere, but like, like, women now, throw a pajama party, sleep over that, at our age, all age range, mm -hmm. if any nigga did that, I mean, but I'm saying you can do whatever you want to, and, and, and you can't put a label on. I'm not saying that he necessarily. That's not. That's not. I'm not. Not saying that's necessarily. Wait, let me say that. that's not necessarily an orgy in the making. But <laughs> that's where I think it's playing out. If it's males, I'm just saying. Maybe, well, I'm, maybe he's just like that guy on that that show he's watching where he, 
He showed up to that date and got mad that the girl <laughs> her question in. <laughs> but he, it was this guy, right? Mm. And they he, they're, they're, they're interviewing him about how he's bisexual or whatever. Fine. But he's in a relationship with a woman. Mm -hmm. Fine. They decided to open it. Fine, no judgment. That's your life. I don't care. That's what y'all got going on. Mm -hmm. And he went on a date with a girlfriend, with, with a girl. And when he met her, you know, dressed normal, dressed, you know what I'm saying? She probably, oh, it's a fly ass nigga. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what's, mm -hmm. see, see what's up with him. So she invited him to his art, her art gallery. He shows up in wearing a dress, a full dress. Mm -hmm. And then he comes up to her and says, like no, no, and she she entertains entertains him this entire date, but like you know, of course she show up, like a dude show up wearing a dress to, to you, you probably gonna be like, so <laughs> so she entertains him the entire night, being so nice and polite and kind, <laughs> and like and, even in his explanation of it. Yeah, in his explanation, this is this is in my my understanding of it. So <laughs> she she um asks, so so they start dancing, mm -hmm. and. Uh, he does. I guess he says that his move, his dance moves aren't uh, masculine enough for her. I, I guess. So, so then later she said he, she said he asked, he, he said she asked her like basically like. So what's your like you know sexual you know like what's your sexual orientation basically? And he said he got, he was like I wasn't interested anymore. I just got up and left and um or whatever because you know her art was trash anyways and mm -hmm. she like that turned me off that she it, asked like, why would that turn him off like she don't have the right to be curious like, like she, let me she know something she didn't even be mean about it rude about it she didn't send him home like she didn't just like like yeah, nah, 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 wait, 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 she, she actually entertained but she had questions so what would you do as <laughs> this when he just pops up and wear your dress <laughs> Did he, which, which, did he say from jump that he was trying to get with me or he just yeah, they was on a date the first time i'm saying oh they was on a date oh like, like that's how he we, asked her on a date yeah, yeah like yeah. they met when he, he was wearing normal clothes like okay and so i feel like he tried to make that statement to let her know so obviously you're throwing that out there you want it to be in question because you know you know what i'm saying yeah 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 if 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 you're perceiving this woman as a straight woman that likes men clearly you know more than likely she likes straight men and you're presenting yourself as that, then you come in a dress, you're making a statement. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You're trying to let her know, okay, this is what I... And she's asking a question. She has the right to, if you about to be fucking her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. are you crazy? Yeah, but Motherfuckers always want shit to be on the down low. No, the other person has a body and boundaries too, you know? You don't know what the other person is into. Yeah, that shit is my thing. My thing is, how can you get mm -hmm. mad at somebody for being, for, for being curious of something that's totally different? That's like if Everybody's wearing a gray shirt, and you show up in vibrant eyes, tie dye colors, and everybody's like, "Oh shit, where did you get that shirt from?" All right. Like no, but she didn't cast judgment on him. Is it, my entire my it's the entire thing that just made me scratch my head? That like just like how how much do you want to be coddled? Is, is how I feel. Like it's like all right, you you can be you can be whoever you want to be. I support you for like you know what I'm saying for your inter orientation, but at one point in time, can can we let like can it not be a, you not be guarded like you know what but, I'm saying? But, but, but listen, so I have we I have I have gay family members, I have gay friends, I love gay women. I have nothing against any of them, right? <laughs> but what I will say is that. A lot of people lately, a lot, and it's not, it's not so much people who are, how, how can I, it's not the gay people that just like want to go on about their regular day life. It's the people that want to be seen and I feel like it's like they're using it as an excuse to be assholes. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, you know I mean, like, mm -hmm. it, it's like, okay. Yeah, you just don't understand me, so you did it that. I'm like, no, you were being a dick. I don't give a fuck. You, like, I don't care about your sexuality or what you. You were a dick in that situation. Right, right. Whether you want yours or not. It's like no. <laughs> but that and that goes on to about people that hide behind spirituality too. People be, oh, yeah, church people would be the most. 
dick people sometimes. And we got grew up in church. I believe. I believe. <laughs> I believe in and I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, I believe all of that. I as I get older, I don't necessarily know if the way that they try to feed it to us is the right story and I've been worrying about that, but I in my journey through life I have my own personal connection with God. That's why I have to let nothing on you niggas. Can I ask you a question? Okay, Pastor. What are you? <laughs> I was over at my dad's church one time, and yeah. like, like, you know, my dad like working work in the church or whatever. So I'm just uh, at the vending machine trying yeah. to give me some snacks. So, man. so we like we we he tells us to go in summer class. So we all go and knock on the door or whatever. No, like, no, 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 no. I don't think it was a class. I think we was like it was like a little bit after time. So we was in the gym. Mm -hmm. We was in the back. We was like standing by the little gym thing against the wall type shit, waiting for him. Yeah, but it it was like. It was something. It was like, some class going like a chorus cor choir or something. Because I know we know not, but we they was making um cards for Terrell. Because mm. Terrell just passed away, and I remember them, like so because she felt mad stupid when she let us in. She was like, but if she opened the door, she was like, she she she's, like she opened, she was like, what are you? And we was like, what? Like, what? And so we just walked away for a minute. My dad came back and then like let us in. With her, like was like, yeah, these are our ki kids or whatever, my kids or whatever. And she's like, oh, oh my god, my dad. <laughs> yeah. But like, like, what kind of asshole just turns away kids like that? Like, you don't see no parent around. You don't do like. She said, "What are you?" <laughs> I almost got jumped in the church bathroom when I was working there by the pastor's son, and one of the one of the dudes is dead now. I was about to make a joke, but we're gonna make off camera. All right, sorry. And uh, well, it was in it the other dude. This was another dude too, but the niggas was like, because I was, I was like, I was working during the like the the, the, the summer program. And it was like younger kids, and I was like over them. So I was cleaning the bathroom. I'm sleeping. They came in there and said something to me. I'm like, what? I started talking. And they're like, chill. He got a broom. Da da da. da. I said, alright, <laughs> give me one second. I went back to the cafeteria, put the broom up, I walked back. The niggas was gone. But I heard the money. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> like, like, nah. I think they was trying to haze me or something. Like, I don't know what, like, but it's like, it's a whole church environment. Like, what, what type of shit is it? Be all type of stuff going on in the church. Yeah, man. It'd, it'd be weird. And we all come from, like, we, we're from a, a very churchy family. Right. <laughs> but I do feel something different sometimes when I be in church, though. It's a feeling, and I can feel it when I, I can identify it outside of church, but I first recognize it in church. And it's like a... I like like I've, I've said before that even if a pastor is using his gifts for wrong, he still has those gifts. I believe that that shit is real. You can still feel that shit. Like you can still feel like the way he sway the people. His he's using that energy for something wrong, mm -hmm. but he actually has the control of that shit. And that's why he's so confident to be able to do that to trick mm -hmm. masses of the people because he has an understanding. Which is crazy to me. Like yeah. if you know you you know you playing with God's power. Leading his people and you still just like all right. But you know it was funny. Uh, Lucifer had the same power. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. Sweating mm -hmm. people. But I don't know. Amani, you being a female, right? My mom they talking about people using excuses to be dicks. Oh wait, wait before we go to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get, women, we was about to get personally attacked. I'm gonna say y'all for about two minutes because uh, the church thing. Because I just want to talk about that Jerome Carmichael thing. Oh God, God cool. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, if y'all get a chance, watch Sermon on the Mount. Like Jerome Carmichael, that's one of my like favorite comedians just because of like how dry and manufactured he are, he is. But uh, he did this thing where he's like interviewing his family, and uh, that one is basically about like his. Um, his his dad, um, and his dad like cheated on his mom, mm -hmm. and then thirty years later she found out that he was hiding the kid the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this pastor that takes up maybe twenty percent of twenty five percent of the entire thing, the entire movie. Uh, it might be thirty. Yeah, it might be thirty. <laughs> but every single word of this man's mouth is. Avoiding kind of accountability, like he's like, he's like, well, you gotta understand. Back in that time, your husband, he wasn't saved. <laughs> so, 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 you see, everything that he did back then, 
wasn't really him. He just keeps saying like he. I try to jump back in, but yeah. So then he, he just, so, so he just keep um like making excuses the entire time, and he's literally sitting telling the the mom the, the his mom like basically like you know it's okay because he did he's just sitting there nodding along. And it wasn't until one of him, I don't know who it was at the end, I'm th so thankful that she was there because she would just kept calling him all his shit. And, and the, but you could tell just how brainwashed the mom is by the pastor. The pastor in the church. I feel like I know people personally, we won't name any names, but they're in situations where, um, I know a bunch of people that are in situations where they're being used and manipulated by the word of God coming from somebody else. Like how is how is how somebody like you know what I'm saying the word of God coming from somebody else, or trying to live by their understanding and what they think, and not, God, like, yeah, and not connecting with God inside yourself. Honestly, like I I really feel like a message that I was put on this earth to to put out there is is not so okay. So what's the not the Illuminati but the the What's the shit? The light, the I don't know, but the do it, do do without will, that type of shit. Oh, that, like the um, the like um, home. yeah, the, the but that type I can't exactly remember what it's called right now. But that type of shit is supposed to be anti God, right? Do what you want, do whatever you want, regardless of the circumstances. But I think on the flip side, God is He wants you to like when He puts in it with your goals, your desires, He. Play, he put them in there and he wants you to explore them. We blocked by a lot of shit in the world that we have to deal with as obstacles. But you're supposed to explore who you are. You're supposed to figure out who you are. You're supposed to, you're supposed to learn. You're supposed to, you're not supposed to just be like, I, I don't know. It's, it's, cause it, and then when you go into the Bible, from I read the Bible from the beginning to the end. Like I was looking for something and revelations and I said okay even though that's at the end I want to know you can't really know about the end unless you know about the beginning mm -hmm. so I went from I went the whole way through but what I got from that it is it is really like do not put yourself in a situation because you think it's ungodly to get yourself out of that situation like it be like he don't want you to be held down he don't want you to be I mean, he wants you to live a full life, not do whatever you want without circumstances. I mean, without I mean, without affecting anybody. But he does want you to be fulfilled and like have some shit. He wants you to have money. He wants you. I mean, they said they want like the church. Like, nah, he just wants you to have it to give to us. Like, no, he wants you to be. He wants you to have money. He wants you to have fun. He wants you to know shit. They want you to be docile and not know anything, so that you they can manipulate you to do stuff in that type of way that they want you to. But I really think it's about togetherness and exploring what this life has to offer in the kind of way without harming people and having negative energy. About yeah, them. honestly, I feel like the the Christian Bible is just one avenue of that. You can find that in a, in a bunch of different places. Like, God isn't just what, what you think of. Even Christians, I feel like everybody is looking at a different God. Like, everybody has their, everybody's worship with a different person in their mind. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might, you wait, might, wait, wait, talk about, talk about, but what you about to say? About you, you might sit here and listen to the preacher, but that person, like, but yeah. they, they, everybody in that in that church in that room is is thinking about a different God. They're they getting a different message at the same time. Yeah. Right. The thing, like, the thing. Okay, no, so they're having a different message. They got, they have an entirely different God in their in their head. So what I'm about to, what I, all, all I got to say is, like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this firmly and clearly that I definitely believe in my Creator. For certain, I die on that ledge. But the fact that church can go on with a white Jesus <laughs> on a background or in a poster, <laughs> and in the very Bible it says that he didn't, <laughs> doesn't look anything like that, and they're just like, ah, fuck it. We don't want to like, like we're not going to be true to <laughs> true to tradition or true to history or true. I mean, so if you're not going to be true to history in that aspect, what else are you going to bend to your whim? That's my issue. 
So that's why you got to be connected, and that's a way longer tangent than I wanted to go on. So you ready to go on the other one? Oh yeah. All right. So as a female, <clears throat> do you believe in astrology and all of that stuff? Like the zodiac. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Do you believe in like? <laughs> do you believe in retrograde? What's that? Well, uh, and my my definition of it is an excuse for people to be dicks. <laughs> 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 what's, your, what's, your, what's your excuse for it? I mean, what's your definition of it? Man. So, uh, so, uh, so, no. So, so <laughs> nah, I, I guess, I guess some people say some the moons and the stars and some things start aligning and basically you start forgetting shit and you start getting angry and mad and shit for no, like, for no reason and everything just irritates you. But, okay, so, I was talking to my father about that the other day and... He did say some shit that makes some kind of sense. Like, the moon affects the ocean, the sun affects the earth, and the moon, the sun affects our body, especially our people with our melanin and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And I, and under a moonlight, I'm literally creative as fuck. If it's a full moon and that shit beaming down on me, I do feel creative. So, and our body is made up of, of, of water, a big percentage of water. So. The moon probably does have some effect on us and our moves, but to be a complete, the only excuse that I'm trying to tell you, the only excuse that I feel that people have to be have to be a dick is PMS. <laughs> like, I love, like that's the only reason they should be irritated and to complete. I'm gonna cuss you out. Da da da. Cause nigga, you in constant fucking pain. I don't know the pain per se. Mm -hmm. but the only thing I can relate to is fucking two fakes. I used to have these uh -huh. on the fucking ground. Right, <laughs> but I feel like that's the only issue. You can like, yeah, leave her the fuck alone because she knows what I'm saying right now. Right, like if that's hormones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever run into a nigga that's on re retrograde? Oh lord, <laughs> <laughs> is he is he a, <laughs> is he heterosexual? Man, he, uh, they might say they are, but you, I feel like I feel like for a, a heterosexual male. Your retrograde when when the stars and shit going on is more so your girlfriend. <laughs> like you gotta experience her retrograde. Yeah, you gotta do her shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, cause but it do be weird, cause like um, all the tourists that I know, we are the same in a way. Like we are all our stubborn as fuck, and we are like, like man, chill down to earth type people. Like it's it's like it's weird. But then they go into this shit where, like, it's certain baby, but then they go into, oh, you were born into this moon, under this star, under this constellation, and this galaxy type shit. It's like, well, that yeah. makes sense, though. It, I mean, like, it, 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 but it's, but all that, of those things that make you. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with some of that stuff, but I just don't, I feel like we do use a lot of excuses. Excuses, I agree. With, I can agree with that. Like, people be like, oh, well, I'm just, it's just because I'm this. Zodiac sign it just because I'm that. Like when really I, I, like yeah. all you know yeah. all Leo's not gonna be the same. All Taurus not gonna be the same. All Scorpios. I know your birthday, but I'm like, what's that sign? I have the best. My, yeah, my, right. baby, mom, my baby mama and my child is a Scorpio. And your grandma and, and your my brother. Grandma, <laughs> both of you brothers. I got a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> It's like, no, I'm just playing. What's good, Jordy? Cricket. Nah, what's good, Wolf? <laughs> what? Oh, wait. It, uh, it, was, it was the crickets for Jordy, and then it was the, the, the clap for oh, Wolf. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I was saying crickets, and neither one of these niggas watching that shit. <laughs> Stupidest movie you ever seen in your life? You mean like, not not for like, just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm pretty sure we watched it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you one. I can tell you two. What one that's not gonna be popular, and one like I'm gonna tell you the one that's not popular first, and that is Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite had no fucking storyline. Like that shit had no fucking like That was the point of it. <laughs> no, but that shit was so random. The funniest thing I remember the dance part. I remember vote for Pedro and I remember him smack it's like 
throwing a steak or a orange and hitting his, his step pops with that shit or something. Uh, yeah. Something that shit like was that. funny as fuck. I remember that. And then it was this movie called Zombie Strippers. <laughs> that shit sounds stupid. <laughs> it was stupid. That shit sounds oh, dumb. Man. That shit was retarded. I hate zombies. That shit sounds dumb. But it's hard for me to find. It's And, and for me... To be pain it's another movie that was painful for me to watch. I can't think of it. But I'm a person that goes into movies to form my own opinion. Because a me stupid too. movie could be good in it like just as like just laughing out stupid. Right. Like but, like like my movies that, that I'm laughing at, like out of entertainment, y'all gotta watch. Yeah, had to watch. Uh, uh what was it? Shark no. Oh, shark nail. No, was it? No, was no, no, it was go it was ghost shark. Ghost shark. Yeah. <laughs> go shark. Please watch Go Shirt. <laughs> Yo, I forgot all about that. It has the best ending I've ever seen. Ever. <laughs> it was this movie where um, they killed a shark and then they start hunting. Or they start hunting them through water sources. Through water, like so, you, if you run the faucet, he could come out. <coughs> you drink, you some drink some water, and he's just gonna just tear your insides out. The shark. Yeah. He grabbed a nigga through a bucket. <laughs> But yo, he, the, threw, he threw hot sauce on that nigga. <laughs> they tried to shoot him and he wasn't dead, so he just threw a hot sauce on him. They threw a grenade in the shark mouth and then yeah. the shark <laughs> Oh my oh, god. You, you ever see Swiss Army Man? Yes, yo, what the fuck? I didn't see that whole movie, but. Yeah, I turned that shit off. Like, <laughs> probably, I feel like. I feel like it was, wasn't there like a, a erotic scene underwater or some shit like that? or? Yo, yeah, that's how it started, yeah. He found like a dead guy and then he was moving with his furs or some shit or something. Yeah, yeah what? it was just weird as fuck. That movie was retarded, man. Like, but he found a dead guy and just just was using him to as just mad <laughs> shit. I, I guess that's the concept that's of the movie. Man. Like, <laughs> what the fuck was good with that movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Harry Potter, you fucked up. I don't know what the fuck that movie was. That's my movie. What? Got, got a movie. Wait, Harry Potter was in that shit. He was the. <laughs> he was the nigga farting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, any Batman now? No, who's the new Batman? I think it is here. No, no. It's nigga, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, I think so. It's either. Nigga, it is the nigga that was shining in Twilight. Don't ever. Yeah, Yo, do yeah. not I oh, ever. Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> the day they put Daniel Radcliffe at Batman, nigga, I, nigga, I'm, I'm going to figure the marble. Like, fuck yeah. out of here. <laughs> Yo, on a side note. You know that black, black man, she's been a black man. Like, just think about where he patrols, what he worries about. Like, you a fucking gazillionaire, nigga. Ain't no way a white man really, this a gazillionaire, give a fuck what's going on in the slums of Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> you might go break in on some white collar. I can see him come in with an American flag fucking suit on, busting through a fucking oh. office building. You guys haven't paid your taxes. Right. Some type of shit. Nah, Batman. You Batman. guys, you guys totally wouldn't let me order after 9 p.m. I don't care if it was closed. My, I can call my dad right now. Oh, he can't call his dad. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that, think about it though. So, that's how you know, because Batman, Batman ruled Gotham with white privilege. You know what that mean when they say like, you want, you won't want to sell an eighth. You can't sell an eighth, you get your ass beat in Gotham. That's just because Batman see all that shit. A black Batman gonna be like, he might even cop. I'm like, alright, you know what I mean? Right. We're going about your way. You tell us some heroin or some shit now, nah, you gonna beat your ass. That's the deeper thing, though. Know. Look at Batman, look at Luke Cage. Batman is the definition of fucking Bruce, bro, uh, police brutality. Luke Cage, hey yo, my nigga, what's up? What's up? Oh, mm -hmm. you said, you said, oh, that nigga's fucking with you? Oh, hold up, I'll be right back. <laughs> Like it's, it's it's never no like no dickhead shit like I'm not just trying to fuck with you because you're out here like trying to feed the family. <laughs> you know, yo, the more we keep talking about Batman, I keep thinking about how insane this nigga is. Bro. <laughs> just, just think about this nigga dropped down a vent, dropped down and changed his whole voice though. This nigga, just, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I, 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 I don't fucking even do that shit every time. Like like yo, you are nuts. Just think about somebody talk, talking to Bruce though. Like he talking to a woman and he's. Hey Bruce, <laughs> he just changed his voice up. Bitch, I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming, darling. <laughs> sorry. You know I'm still used to work. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> I'm still used to work right now. I'm trying to decompress. 
Alright, man. We got to end soon because we got to open this spot. So I'm going to start rapid firing some shit. Um, Trump's back and said that he's he's going to win possibly for a, a third time. What was the second time? Oh, he he won this 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 election. Oh, he you ain't know? All the the the, 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 fours, the false ballots, <laughs> all all of the shits. Trump won this 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 election. We we Trump should be our president right now. Like they was they was right to the riot and do all Trump that. Trump should be shit. in straight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trump is one of the most delusional. Yo, Trump should, <laughs> Trump should be Batman. <laughs> no, maybe he is. No, no, Trump will be Iron Man. He definitely be Tony Stark. Cause Tony Stark is dickhead. Yeah, he, he usually like like he. I want you to know I'm Iron Man. Yes. I'm gonna tell you who I am, so you can give me the praise. And he was selling military weapons. He was like, <laughs> yeah, Trump could be Thanos, and he looked like him more than. Do like. So Trump could be Thanos. I I I don't dislike Trump as much as some people. I most of anybody do, but I say that a lot. I kind of just like. At least I heard from the like. What, what the fuck do Biden be talking? Like, do Biden be talking? Or do Kamala be everywhere? She was the one that was low at one I point. I haven't heard Biden speak except for. Damn, uh, like like Obama's last like term. <laughs> like, at least I want. At least I can see what the hell going on with Trump. You know what's going on because he he exposing shit ain't supposed to expose. He doing all of this shit. Oh, I, I, what's going on? I got a death battle. So who will win? Out of Joe Biden and my nigga Bernie Sanders, he gets nigga pass. I'm sorry. Well, he, he can't say nigga, but I can call him my nigga because he just that he he's marching with Joe. Gonna win because Joe gonna yeah. put on them sunglasses and like Tsh, his secret service is gonna fire that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> They've been waiting to shoot Bernie ass anyway. What is? But let's let's think about Joe um Joe's powers. What's his power? Weasley. Gripping, he, he he sneak up on you and, and touch you in places you don't want to touch. <laughs> yeah. So I guess he he is a little slippery. He might be able to dodge, but I feel like uh, Bernie like Bernie got that that jab. It's gonna be like hard, hard as fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be like this, but he gonna hook the fuck out of that nigga. Uh, and he gonna square up like this. You know who I think Bernie is? <laughs> you know what Bernie look Bernie Sanders look like? He like Barnacle Boy. <laughs> <laughs> When they old, nah, it's Mermaid Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, ain't it both of them though? Mermaid Man and then Barnacle Boy. Yeah, Barnacle that's what I'm saying. But he do like that because yeah. don't Barnacle Boy got that no, nose? Got the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's no, no, friend? Trump is Trump is Mermaid Man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But oh yeah, um, J Cole, he uh he got hated on. But I don't know. I I kind of feel what the man was saying, but at the same time, he's one player. They like J Cole came and said, yeah. Whole bunch of rappers, come in, let's fill up all these rosters. He came over and played one, like, fill one roster, one spot that somebody else could have did. And he bought attention and did all that, but he came back home. I don't know. But they yeah. said it was because of family issues. So I feel like at the end of the day, family first when it comes to anything. But, because But is it really family issues is what I want to know. Yeah. I think so. I don't think Cole is that, you know, I don't find him to be not genuine to. Yeah, he's in a contract, so I mean, it had to be something of that sort. They say he fulfilled his obligation though. Exactly. Contract, yeah. yeah, but um, I feel like I feel like the contract wasn't for that long anyway. I feel like it's more so just like you can go live your dream real quick, and it's more of a symbiotic thing where I'm bringing all this attention mm -hmm. and uh, giving you giving y'all money and getting eyes on y'all network. But the thing about it that's crazy to me is that people from all countries come to play in the fucking NBA. Like people come to the NBA from right. all like do you I can't pronounce some of them goddamn last names that be on that jersey. I think in the Africa League is is the people that are like retired basketball players, the people that already had a career and then they kinda went they kinda went like 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 went there. So he's saying basically like these people went out of out of work because of COVID. But still like he 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 practiced and he trained and he auditioned to be like you know what I'm saying to be yeah. in that spot. So it's something like did he might have got a little bit of leniency because of he the business side of things, mm -hmm. but that's anything. Like, exactly. Don't be mad at don't be mad at the the fellow black person that's that's just doing something like you know that's trying to live his dream. Yeah. Like you are, with when the people above like you know they, above you are are putting yeah. this in play. Because, they, probably, they probably still don't like this. Oh yeah, they don't like Americans, of course. They kind of look at uh, well. I'm not gonna say all of them, but a lot of a lot of African and a lot of people in other countries look at look down at um Americans, all Americans. Everybody in other countries look at down at America, but 
specifically black Americans because of how we're portrayed in the media. Yeah, or just in general. I've had this conversation a million times over. I feel like go on my friends and at the end of the day, the same way they pit us against each other. The same way we used to be back then calling them booty scratchers and saying, you yeah. know what I'm saying? All of this yeah. stuff that wasn't cool to hang out with them. It wasn't cool to, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to rock African clothing you know mm -hmm. they yeah, when they came here they was told the same thing about us that they portray us as in the media oh don't go around the, the black ones here because they got guns they'll mm -hmm. try to kill you they're gonna rob mm -hmm. you so you know if you you're gonna have that fear like oh okay they might look like me but who's to say they might not mm -hmm. and they already talking about me you know and you gotta think these people is coming from a place where they don't speak the same language as us can you imagine us being dropped there somebody you don't know somebody plotting on you you don't know what they're saying to you because you don't speak the language right and yeah. also aggressive as fuck. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, so um like can you wanna explain with the non fudgeable what's with that shit? Non fudgeable uh, token is? Uh so basically it's just another uh another item that you can invest. Uh you know, now that they're like now everything is going digital. You can think of like all the currency, like cryptocurrencies that are coming out, like Bitcoin and Dogecoin and all, all that those things um but instead of just being based on nothing this is an actual item like you you're buying like a digital item like let's say one of my one of my paintings or one of my graphic uh, drawings um you have the exclusive rights to that people can of course buy it and i mean of course you know not buy it but of course like you know have that image or whatever but it's it's gonna keep it's you you exclusively had that on that platform and in, in, in like a little like you know what I'm saying like on that yeah. level like it would appreciate it would it will appreciate it's supposed to appreciate okay so it's like it's, it's like, like fine art for like collectors I guess yeah. but it just it it sounds strange as fuck to me I mean I get it making money usually the like the 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 best and most niche ways to make money usually sounds bananas that's because mm -hmm. most people aren't doing it like. It's, it's a thousand ways to make money, and it, it's just like you would you would be surprised. Like if you just go to a garage sale, go to garage sales all Saturday, but and they you know what? Sell all the items it's just it's just because it, when you really like, think you about it, rich. though, it's cornering on. It's like a it's, it's a dick waving contest. Like it's like that's what it that's what it really is. It's yeah. like I got yeah. It's like that's <laughs> that's what commerce is. It's like all right, you ain't even gotta want something, but maybe if it's the last one or the first <laughs> of its kind, or you're the only one that have it. They gonna be all over that shit, and then okay, I got this. Da, da, da. Okay, I gotta top that or find something. Like I can't get that, so I'm gonna find this and da, da, da. or I gotta have more. It's just like, but when you when you get a certain amount of money, what else to do? It's, it's like yeah, <laughs> like damn, I got all the sneakers I wanted. Let me go find something else to to start investing in. Let me take a picture of Jordan's foot being <laughs> designed in the first shit and have that picture yeah, digitally. Like, people have got so caught up like. And a hype of, oh, I gotta be original. That's one thing if you wanna be original. You know, that's a natural mm -hmm. thing, but I feel like it's like the thing like, oh, well, I did this first, or you know, I, I don't wanna be too much like this person to the point where you can't even ask somebody where they got something from without them trying to hide it. You can't ask somebody where they work at without them being like, oh, well, I don't want you working where I'm working, or yeah, I wanna be the only person, you know, work, doing this. Like, I can't say, I can say about, uh, about sneakers. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, it's like the. Okay, if you like, oh, you know those fire, or we get them from? That's cool, but a nigga chased me out of the fucking store to ask me where I got my sneakers from. Meaning you about to go try to go get them shits exactly after you said, no, I don't like that shit. <laughs> like, it's, I, I don't know, that's different. Like, like okay, you yeah. like, and even if you're saying where you got them from, I feel like, okay, you just, that's just like you compliment. But the nigga chased me out the fucking store, and I probably looked at him crazy, because I'm just like, I would never do that. Like, I don't know. But I guess you're saying. I sounded mad pretentious with that. It did. Because what if he was like, damn, he, he could, you again, perspective matters. Like, that's something like perspective really is everything. What if he was, had had an outfit or something, or, you know? And, oh, this and already was looking for shoes. Yeah. Like, that, that's just on like a, a smaller level, but you know you what I'm saying? You should first, motherfucker. Find somebody else, something else in these color scheme. It's like, there's just certain stuff like, okay, I, okay, money. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay, I, I, I bet this, this would trigger you at least. <laughs> you, you build a house from the ground up 
the mm -hmm. ground fucking up, right? Mm -hmm. Everything to your preference. So now I move next door and build the exact fucking house. That shit's not gonna bother you at no time. The way. exact house, absolutely, it would. That's, <laughs> it's, 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 but that's what I'm saying. Between like some people really, really wanting to stand, like you it's, losing your originality versus like. You're trying to do it because you want to be better than. That's what I'm saying. Like, I see where you're coming from, but I feel like when people do it, it's not because of that. Like, it's not really genuinely bothering them. It's just the fact of, oh well, more so a fear that the next person gonna do it better than them. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying. Like, okay, he might have outfit. He gonna look better than me in these shoes. So let me not. I'm hating on him a little see, bit. That don't even register in my kind of brain because I don't think like that. And that's how I am too. But you really learn after a while being around certain types of people where it's like, oh, like this is. People's mindsets like that would have never even crossed my mind because I don't move like that. Yeah, we gonna put you gonna put it together too. Like me, you can put me and him have this. We got the same thing. We gonna wear it completely. Different. Exactly, but and that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't mind if somebody be like, "Oh, where you get that and from?" We gonna both kill it. Like, exactly. It, 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 exactly. It, 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 yeah, people just be insecure about this shit. I'm not. That's another thing, though. Oh, it was something I wanted to say before we got out of here. I will probably close out now because it's it, but. Why do do y'all? Why do you think? Like I know, so everything. I'm gonna probably go deeper into this next episode about entitlement and relationships with people. But I feel like a lot of people think that if we talk or if I show interest in you, that you own oh, like like. Well, I, okay, so <laughs> I remember in high school, right? It was these girls that chilled together, and I was talking to both of them. Not not on a. Not, and I, I wasn't, like, I knew they, I, but it wasn't like, it was like, I liked her, and I liked her. We never dated, I never messed around with you. One of the girls found out, like, oh, okay, you were, you trying to talk to, all, all da, 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 and it's like, nah, it was like, it wasn't, it was like separate times, it wasn't even serious, it was just communicating, and then, like, if one of it take off, and then, well, obviously, if it wasn't going to take off with the other one, I feel like, you can, like, I'm trying to say it the right way, because... Because you're trying to mansplain it. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to. This is how this is how. But this no. But this is this is this is how I feel about for women too. I feel like I feel we all are too entitled. Like you really. So if we never did anything, we did nothing but communicate. How is that off limits? If I go after y'all because if if I go after y'all because y'all friends or if I'm really if I'm chilling with both y'all at the same time or if it's weird like if like I literally never chill outside of talking on the phone and texting type shit I've never did been you, on one on one. Did you express that you like that you that you had interest in either? right? No, oh, then, okay. then, then I feel like yeah, you, then that, that's yeah. I feel like then they but it's always, yeah, but, but, but that's what I'm saying. But, if you express you have interest in both, that's like stringing but, somebody but, along. But to go further, it's like okay, it's it's five girls, it's ten, it's seven girls in a picture, right? And they, they and they took a picture together, and they on Instagram. I mean on Facebook, and they said, like, "Oh, the nigga, this nigga was in three or four of their inboxes, not at the same time because of that picture." But mm -hmm. like, nigga, y'all, y'all together? I haven't talked. Like, I know y'all know each other, and I don't. This, this isn't something. I don't want to sound like this is something that's recent or I'm triggered by it or nothing. I was just trying to cross my head. So. But yeah, it's like I don't know either one of y'all. Y'all y'all hang together, so it must be something in that that I might be attracted to or something like that. But it's not like I'm trying to like, be like, playing. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like I can fuck like, y'all yeah, at the same yeah, time yeah. If, I, if if y'all want. <laughs> <laughs> how 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 close of friends are you guys? So like, nah, but no. So that's what I'm saying. Like I and me being a nigga, you talking about me explaining me being a nigga, if I'm trying to do that, if y'all close and I know that I'm trying to fuck y'all together. I'm not trying to fuck y'all separately. Like so it's not like me I just sound like it, it do sound you made it, you said that now it sound niggish. But that was a nigga. Because that's but, 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 it does to no, other listening ears. I don't see but men wrong. just can't no, hear yeah, it. That's what I'm that, that one part that I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was that's, serious. Yeah, that, yeah, that's when I that's when I see the heat turn the heat on. Yeah, other than that, I think it's wrong. Because it has I don't happens. say it, I don't say it's wrong. Think, it about does, a, think about a Syracuse though, how small it is. Like But that's but that's I feel like that's gonna lead us into the topic of double standards because you personally might not be like this. I know my cousin, but if it's a woman doing it, talking to multiple different dudes that's in this that hang together, that's in the same set gang, whatever you want to call it, then she's a hoe. But so it, that's corny shit. But it not nah, it uh, is she fucking them? It's different. No, no, did not. Nah, she my I don't I don't think that is a hoe. I mean, yeah, honestly, I I feel like 
men be, men be so quick to call women a hoe. I can't call women a hoe if I didn't fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you can't call her a hoe even if you did. That's the point. Yeah, true. I, do, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. know man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but, it is some hoes. But, but. Uh, yeah, like, but, but specific niggas be like, oh, she a hoe. Be like, but did you fuck? No, like, no, right. nigga. It's like, you cast all these judgments on other people because of how you see the world should be. Right. Me, I sit back and like, okay, this is how you are. Like, like honestly, I got I got girls um, that are friends that that they're into like pot, they're like poly, and mm-hmm. they like like I know girls that are like into all type of other shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't call them hoes. I don't mm-hmm. like think that they're like you know any type of way. It's just like you're just it's living just your life. This is your this is your sexual orientation. Just like if you're gay or something. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. I don't know though, man. I was so I was. Me and my ex is trying to, uh, one of my exes is trying to have a threesome with her, her, with somebody that she knew, right? And she only was hesitant because she didn't have, I mean, because she was in a relationship that was failing or whatever, whatever. So she kept saying shit that was like, she kept saying shit that was like, um, like, we was watching black shit and she just kept saying those shit because she was white and it was kind of like throwing me off, it was kind of turning me off at the same time. But then... She basically, she said something like to prove like that she was with like, oh no, I've, I've been with Minnie and I, I've been in like a loving way before or some shit like that. And like, that's not attractive. That is hoish to me in a way, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it could have been a different time, it could have been some hippie shit, some... Why is that how much? Because if, if 11 bitches presented themselves to you and wanted to fuck you, you would fuck them, correct? So huh? how was that? Is that? No, 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 no. I, I would automatically assume they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> how come they couldn't just want to have a good time? And this is not me you. defending hoes. I'm just nah, being I mean, devil's advocate because I, mean, I feel like men throw I, the word I, around, but they I do mean, this I, whole I, I try not to call women hoes because it's like, like, like I was just saying, like, you are. It could be who you are. To me, like a hoe is more so. I'm about to just like be nasty. Okay, no, but, but honestly, like, 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 but like, but like, that's. But the but the the way the way like if I didn't have that underlying feeling about it the way that she said it and that I felt like she was trying to prove a point and it backfired the way that she said it almost made me respect it <laughs> like, like, like Ray if you think you think I'm not ready for just the two of you My chest and my ankles at the same time. Four at once. <laughs> <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> Yo, I can't remember that. It part. looked like a, I can't remember, remember that like part where the Muslims had a, that white girl in a circle. <laughs> no. <laughs> you remember this yeah, shit? I Come on, but this now shit. I can't remember. I was about to say, you see, I'm quiet. I'm not. Nah, I don't even remember. Mind. I don't even think. Yeah. I don't even think it got sexual. No, nah, they they was boot cocking you white girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole time they're like, apologize for your time. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I wish I could find that shit. <laughs> it was like, yeah, yeah, apologize for all your atrocities. <laughs> <laughs> you were the me and she taking that pipe to the face. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I wonder how Michael Max would have felt about that. My brothers, my brothers. I'm about to say, we all know Michael Max was a hoe. But that's what I'm. But that's. But that's what I'm saying about that. Before I'm gonna close this out by saying this, like um, when we go back about the spirituality and all of this stuff, the way that you look at people, on a serious note, like Martin Luther King, we know Martin Luther King had sex with mad white women in his journeys. We know, in document, right? He was. Was he? Uh, he was a minister, a pastor, um, a reverend. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. So, that takes away nothing from what he did because he's a human being. Like he had, and then he didn't like. How can how can I put it? I don't think he. I don't think it was contradictory to what he stood for. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So like. Mm-hmm. I feel like our biggest problem with religion, spirituality, and just is human and like like humans as overall like just the human experience is like we like to avoid accountability. Like mm-hmm. if you did something, you did it. You mm-hmm. just need to stand on it. Like 
it, it's like if you like I, I don't know I feel like a lot of people like they just hide behind um hide behind titles and shit mm -hmm. like oh I'm a pastor or I'm even I'm your I'm your parent like you can't oh, we don't, that's, that was the most fucked up as that, that's the most toxic shit in the world I, I, I can smack the shit out of you but you better not you better not raise your voice at me because I'm your mom like what the fuck <laughs> I agree for, with that though. For no reason. You was, that, 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 not, not smack the shit out of your child for no reason, but that's but that's what I'm saying. They feel uh, like, like like I feel like a lot of parents, like even black parents, like you're my like, child, like, so you should have to do so you, this. So yeah, so fuck how you feel so about I shouldn't, it. I shouldn't treat you with like, respect. Yeah, but I should expect respect. Yeah, that's like I feel true. like even even like little kids for me, I should I feel like I respect them in a certain way where I, oh you talking to me, I'm not just gonna. Stop, get out of here, little blow. Like, think, think, think about, think about oh, how long it take. Like, for, like, think about how long it take for me to snap on DJ. Though. Like, I had, like, I'd be like, all right, all right. I try to explain it to him. Yeah. I try to do that. I tell him ten thousand motherfucking times, and then yeah. even when I start yelling at him, it's like, all right, but then I'm still not. Yeah. It's still like I, tr I still try to see his perspective. Yeah. yeah. But he, a, he a boy. He need, he, he need that so that yeah. every once in a while with that just to put him in his place to say like, yo, I. Right, you laughing and it's like in my face now, <laughs> like while I'm while I'm sitting there trying to chastise you. Now you gotta now I make you mad. Like, right. like, like I gotta steer you a little bit, like. Right. But I feel like it shouldn't be like oh um. Like like some like I'll be hearing some people like calling a little kid a eight year old daughter like come here little bitch come Yo, this little bitch over oh, here that here just made doing me this like me. like you know what I'm saying. But then, nice tech, but then yeah. they when they 15, 16, and they sitting there arguing, and they and they they <laughs> fighting back with you. I can't believe you you raise your voice at me like right, that. Like I can't believe you. Me a, my, like I'm a bitch in the street for right here. A bitch and stunt me down the steps my whole goddamn life. <laughs> what the fuck you? Right. I only seen enemies do that. So clearly, oh, bitch, you my enemy, man. Like. Mm -mm. All right. So to be continued on that topic next week, we're gonna follow up on that because I do got some more shit to say on that. But. Before we close, this rapid fire one movie that they better not remake, retouch, anything. Harry Potter. They probably still making Harry Potter movies. Though. They like, could keep making them, but I'm saying yeah. you can't change the cast or nothing like that. No, they making the what? They they remaking. They, they making something in that story, that storyline, like that that world, but not like the Wild Beasts, where the Wild Beasts are. No, they can it's, do that. it's in that world, but it's not them. To if it. you motherfuckers touch a Harlem Knights. Mm. Um, um, shit, if y'all if y'all recast Spider Man again, uh, right. I am fighting. <laughs> nah, nah, he did nah, cause it, it, it's definitely time for him to pass the torch to Miles. Yeah. Give us our, okay. our give our, our black Spanish Spider. Let 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 Tom as Tom Holland, right? Let him get older. Yeah. If, if his movie things get older, train Miles like he do in the comic yeah, books. Yeah, that's it on the tours. Continue that way. That'd be fine. That's the best way to do it. Cause all of these, all of these Spider Man just is it just is terrible. Tom Holland's yeah. the best Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's amazing. And as people been trashing him. That's just that's so because they're so used to them. they're so used to like the, the wrong iteration of him. Yeah, it's like they, 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 don't, they don't know, know the age difference too. Like yeah. this is the young Spider Man. The Spider Man that they used to is like his twenty year old. He's so self. annoying. He's cracking jokes and he's like that's. That, yeah. <laughs> Even older Spider Man. Spider Man in his 40s still cracked mm -hmm. like that. Y'all know I don't play. I don't, I don't play oh, with, I didn't know <laughs> I don't play about my butt. But anyway, this has been a family meeting. We're the family. We out this bitch. <laughs>